Hey up, how we doing? Beer mail, Andrew Lynch, High Road Brewery has sent me four beers. Look at this, very professional. This is the only one without a label. Labels are lovely on them. Um, this is a raspberry wheat, 4.8%. Now, I spent years not liking wheat beers. We used to go on holiday to France every year in the summer with about 10 to 12 of us. And a mate of mine, who um, who used to go with, loved loved them, loved them. I just I just didn't like them. I don't know whether it's estuary, banana. I like bananas. I mean, I don't know. I just didn't like them. And then I had a I had a hoe garden, I think it was. And then I don't know. It sort of brought me into it. I, I worked my way through them. I like. I love a wheat beer now. Beautiful, very nice. So that's been out of the fridge a well. while. Look at it. I think this is going to be perfect. Right. Right, uh, I've got a little note under here. Um, golden Prom, half of it was Golden Promise, look at that. Half of it was Golden Promise, half of it was Wheat. And he used Technang, Technang? Never used it. So, let's have a go, shall we? Raspberry. You can definitely smell the raspberry in it. And I love raspberries, so we're all right. We're on a winner. I mean, I can just smell raspberries. I don't, I don't think, I guess that was off the keg because there's nothing in the bottom of there. I tipped it all in. It's not, it's not cloudy. The clarity is quite good, actually. Light carbonation, lovely colour, look at that. He was saying that it hasn't got the raspberry tint, but it's all right. The lacing, lacing. Seriously, it smells, smells a lot of raspberry. He's used, he's used extract, uh, raspberry extract. Now, I've only used ras I've only used extract twice. I used uh, some peanut butter extract that 23 litres of beer ended up going down. Well, actually not 23 litres because I persevered for 10 bottles and tried, but it was just horrible. It was like, I don't, it was just so chemically, 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 like, yeah, it was just, the chemical taste was just, so I, had, I think I had 10 and then I was like, ah, I'm done. But I bottled it all and everything. It was before I was, keg in and I was gutted and then I got some mango which I haven't really used I've been popping it in some lagers and bits just to try it out a bit but I don't know whether I dare again it doesn't taste chemically that chemic is that right chemically taste of chemicals that doesn't but it's still just not quite I'm not sure about it I'm a bit it's put me off I've got to be honest but this smells like raspberries. <laughs> smells like raspberries. That doesn't smell odd at all. It's quite strong actually. Raspberry ice cream. Yeah. All right, anyway. I think I've got this about down to the right temperature. Been out a bit longer than what I wanted it to be because of something popped up and had to do something, but whoa, now that raspberry you can taste it, it's not smacking you completely in the face, but it is the main thing you taste. 
as I guess it should be. I mean, it's not massively, I'm saying it's the most thing you taste, but it's not massively overpowering. It's not taking, it's not really strong. It's just about, for me, it's just about right. The, it's really clean and smooth. Um, yeah, it's fresh, it's fresh and clean. I can't take, I can't taste a lot through that raspberry, but that raspberry tastes like really nice raspberry. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't taste odd. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, if that came out of a bottle from a supermarket or a bottle shop, I wouldn't know any different. And it's probably better because, not that I've had it before, I can only account it to, and it's not the same as, but the only thing I've had raspberry before is like a raspberry cider that's that's commercial um and that's strong in it that's a really strong fruity thing this this smells as though it's going to be quite strong but when you taste it it's subtle but it's there That's really nice. I've never brewed a wheat beer. And I don't know why. Now, he was he was a bit down on it when I watched his video. Um, he said it had been in nice just as a, as a wheat beer and not dropping the raspberry in. Um, I mean, that's, that's fair comment. It probably would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, but for me to try this with the raspberry in, I like it. I like it. I'm going to brew a wheat beer when I get some stuff to do it. Now he said he's had some edge retention problems, but I mean that to me, look at the lacing on that. That's all right, isn't it? I'll be happy with that. I've had some problems recently. Right, anyway, we're seven minutes in. I think the sun might be coming out and I've got a Scottish 80 shilling. Well, he's calling it an 80 shilling. I guess it's Scottish 80 shilling. I might go see if the garden's not too windy. Sit outside, I'm gonna finish this. And I've got the 80 shilling out, I'm gonna give that a go. That, 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 what's this say? It's banging, it's banging that. I'm not gonna do a Scottish accent, because I'm not a bit, although I am sort of Scottish, my grandma's Scottish. She's from just outside Glasgow. I, I like that. Can you leave in the comment below, I couldn't see in the video what, where you got your extract from because I might use a bit of extract in some different things if it's the right extract because I obviously got it from the wrong place. Anyway, cheers Mr Lynch, see you in a bit. Right, we've made it out into the garden, the sun's out. It's not too windy. Last time I tried to do one outside, it was just windy. Made a right mess, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Sun's a bit blinding in this side, but it's right. So, High Road Brewery, Andrew Lynch, 80 shilling. Another one of them amazing tops, look. Look at that label. That's professional, that is, isn't it? Look at that bad boy. Now, I've brewed this twice and I love it. I actually sent him one and he enjoyed it. So, let's see. I guess this is brewed with Scottish water. I don't know whether this is. I'm sure he, he must, he must. Bottle off the keg. Light carbonation. Look at the head on that, it's all right. The wind's picking up, but I'm gonna bite through it quick, I 
think. Typical, isn't it? I'm going to move inside because this is ridiculous. It's been still for ages. Right, we've come inside. It got windy. It's beautiful out there. But last time I tried doing it, it just crashed the audio and it was a wreck. So we're inside. It's not going to be long. I'm going to put two videos together. And I am aware that I my last one was quite long. So that is a beautiful colour. Look at that. Beautiful. Now he's brewed this with Canon yeast. Canon? Canon? Conan. Conan yeast. They harvested three months before from another brew. Um, I've just, I've never heard of it, so I've just had a look at it. It's, it's a hot forward yeast, maybe, something like that. I've never heard of it, anyway. Um, and he, he bittered it with Fuggles and Cascade and then Cascade later on in the ball. He had head retention problems with this as well. Um, Caramel, toffee and caramel as it should be, really, isn't it? Think, his water pro profiling must be really good. Because this is, I mean, he tasted mine and he said he preferred mine. But I think that if you have stuff on keg and you brew it a few times and you drink it, I think you sort of get used to it, maybe. Um, I mean, this. I mean, I think this is not exactly the same as mine. Similar, very similar, but it's good. It's it's lovely. I think it's just nice to try a different version of it. Just the right amount of bittering on it for me. He's got there's some fruit in there. He didn't mention fruit in his video. So I think there's a bit of fruitiness in mine. But we've both played around with the recipe, I think, haven't we? Um, the mouthfeel on that is sort of medium. It's lovely. I mean, it is beautiful. And it looks the part. Look at that colour. Look at it. It has got a nice little cap. Nice aroma of a ale bitter. That is, the mouthfeel on that is beautiful. It, I mean, it's lovely. I mean, I love, like, the Batemans. I mean, I'm a bit of a Batemans fan. The toffee, the caramel. This is beautiful. It's just lovely. And it's travelled well. <laughs> travelled nicely, it has. Andrew, you can brew, dude. You can brew. That is astounding. It is absolutely. I mean, that's right on my street. I like all different styles, I've got to say. But at the minute, I haven't brewed any bitters much. I've done Irish Red Ale twice now. Um, it's got 80 shilling. And I've just got a Yorkshire bitter on. I've just kegged it today. Yeah, caramel toffee, I'm loving them notes. I love those notes in a bitter, which you, you get, don't you, to be fair, generally. But that is a that is a substantial. They call it the Scottish heavy, don't they? But that is substantial and super, super tasty. Like I say, that is just right on my street there. Just the right amount of bittering for me. Like I said, the toffee notes and the caramel. I love it. I love it. Nice work. Brilliant. Thank you very much. I've got another two to drink that I'm very excited about. There's no altogether IPA and there's a, is it the Vacant Gesture? 
I will try and get a review. But I don't know how long people want to hear me prattling on about people's beers. I don't know. I might do. I do like to do a review if someone sends them, if I can. I don't normally. I mean, four. Mr Lynch, that was very generous. Very generous indeed. Um, that last beer, outstanding. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to do a wheat. That's really inspired me. Thank you. Um, I'm going to get some kit in, get some ingredients in and do that. Good time of year. Yeah, two absolutely banging beers. I cannot fault. I mean, they're lovely. They're outstanding. Thank you very much. Catch you soon. Like, subscribe and hit the bell.